In November of 2008, terrorists based out of Pakistan attacked the Taj Mahal Hotel and other targets in Mumbai, India, killing 168 and wounding hundreds more. I vividly remember as the scenes of horror played out on television for four days in front of a stunned worldwide audience. Despite allegations of Pakistani military involvement in the attacks, the situation did not escalate into a military conflict that time. But what if something like that happens again? I cannot help but imagine a darker outcome. My name is William Perry, and what follows is my South Asia nuclear nightmare. On the early morning of January 26th, members of a Pakistani militant group prepare for an attack on the Republic Day Parade celebration in New Delhi. The attack claims over 300 lives, injuring countless others. All of the militants died during the attack, except one. Upon interrogation, he reveals the location of the group's hideout. The information is quickly passed to senior government officials, and the cold start response is initiated. It gives the Indian military authorization to launch a punitive raid against the militants and cross over the border from the Punjab into Pakistani territory. In anticipation of India's invasion, the Pakistani government orders the Nassar Mobile Short Range Tactical Nuclear Weapon System to be deployed to the border. The UN convenes an emergency meeting and urges both sides to show restraint. Just before dawn, the Indian army quickly overwhelms the militant camp. However, most of the fighters have already fled deeper into Pakistan. As the Indians ponder their next course of action, the Nassar system is moved near the border, 10 miles north of Kasur. Knowing that Pakistani military doctrine authorizes the use of tactical nuclear weapons against any invading force, the move is perceived as an urgent threat by the Indian military. After tense consultations, the government authorizes an airstrike to disable the nuclear battery. Despite the use of conventional munitions in the airstrike, the intense bombardment causes one of the warheads to detonate. The nuclear explosion causes massive damage around the suburbs of Lahore, along with villages on both sides of the border. Military and civilian casualties are in the tens of thousands. Unable to identify the source of the nuclear explosions, Pakistan interprets them as a nuclear first strike from India. In response, the Pakistani military launches nuclear missiles at dozens of military and civilian targets in India. Minutes later, India orders a counter-strike. Twenty-seven major cities are completely destroyed. Casualties are in the tens of millions. Both governments collapse and the militaries take control. The radioactive fallout reaches as far as Australia. The radiation also saturates the Himalayas, contaminating fresh water for over a dozen countries, including China. The smoke and ash dispersed in the atmosphere 
lowers temperatures across all of Asia. Crop failures lead to food shortages around the globe, resulting in widespread starvation. Billions of lives are affected. <laughs>